Are you having issues where you want to update to the newest iOS 26 software update, but it's not showing up in your software update section on iPhone? You came to the right place, because I'm going to show you how you can solve this problem. But before we start with the tutorial, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to AppTutor for more iOS 26 tutorial videos like this one. First of all, if you aren't seeing the beta update in the settings, then check on the internet if your iPhone is compatible and if this update is available for your device. Here is a list of all the devices that will be getting iOS 26 when it rolls out in September of this year. If you see your iPhone model on this list and it's still not showing up, then you'll want to open Safari and then navigate over to the website called developer.apple.com and then you're going to land on this page. You see, we currently have access to the developer beta of iOS 26, so we'll have to enroll to the program. Don't worry, this is absolutely free, so just tap on the two horizontal lines located at the top left, then tap on this account option. If you do have a developer account, then sign in with it, and then you'll see the option to enroll into the Apple Developer Program. But if you don't have an account, just click on this button, and then quickly fill in your information in order to create an account. Follow the on-screen instructions, and then your account will be created. So sign in, enroll in the Apple Developer Beta Program, and then you'll get access to iOS 26. Now, restart your iPhone, and after the device turns on, you'll want to open the Settings page. Then, go over to the General section, Software Update, and then tap on this Beta Updates section. This will open another page where you'll see the iOS 26 Developer Beta. So just select that, and then you'll get the update to show up. But if you're still having issues, then what you must do is to make sure that you are logged in with the developer account which you had created, because this won't work with regular Apple accounts. Also, if you're logged in, just restart the iPhone once or twice, and then check if this solved the issue. If you have any other solutions to this issue, then please make sure you leave them in the comments down below so we can help more people. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.